look who we have here. What's hey. up, brother? What's up, baby, bro? Doing all right, man? Yeah. You're not doing all right? What? You may I get you? You hear that? I can cheer up with an old ice cream cone. You missed all that? No. Congratulations on that, man. Uh, hey, you told mommy that? No, I had <sighs> Come on, you gotta let mom. Give me a quarter so I can call. For what? A quarter so I can call on the phone. Thomas, you, you sure about that? <sighs> wow. Yeah, NWO shirts. I was <laughs> part of Wolfpack. Oh, yeah. Man, y'all were used to wrestle over there at UT Elementary. Then y'all come watch us high school kids over here wrestling. I mean, we'd be in the canteen. That was our little cafeteria eating. We were jealous of y'all because y'all had a real cafeteria over there. And I actually didn't see y'all or else. You did? All right. Yeah, because, um, you know, by the time we were coming out of the school building doing that, we would build up an appetite, you know, you know, doing diamond cutters and, and, and gold bear spears and all that kind of stuff. Man, uh, speaking of uh, uh, eating, uh, you hungry? Yeah, I'm going for some. All right, man, but, but let me, uh, get, well, you ain't going to give me a quarter to make a call and get something to eat. Uh, and we have to go there. We're going to be waiting there all day. Oh, uh, you really don't have to because with these phones now, you can go to your app and actually make an order. Or they can really? deliver. They always deliver, but you uh, can actually order your food ahead of time with your phone. So, you, okay, I guess you just go ahead and do that, and then we'll just go pick it up. Okay. Well, man, I enjoyed this memory trip down memory lane. Let's go pick up this food. Uh, I need my driving music, my Marvin Gaye. Pass me my CD. Call it passing my CD. Mm. I need my CD. Uh, Thomas. Uh, what? That were phones are made for MP3 downloaders, YouTubers. You could just get it for free. Oh, okay. Woo. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I apologize, baby, bro. I guess being on this campus got me thinking it's still 1999. I see. Oh my goodness. I guess I missed some things. Welcome to the best sellers list. This week, we're out here in historic Arlington, Tennessee, one of the fastest growing communities in Shelby County. And behind me is a gas station that when I was a little boy, it was the only thing on this road. Now we see it developing with a Kroger, Subway, a couple of nail shops, a UPS. Arlington is growing every day, but I miss the times when that Highway 70 was just a two lane road where I would go see my family and visit them from time to time. Then head back to Fraser, Raleigh area and just grow up and, and be a kid of the 90s and the early 2000s. But times have changed, as we can see, with these masks on and everything that's going on with the coronavirus. And that got me to thinking, what are some of the things that I missed that I didn't realize I was going to miss? That's what we're going to count down this week with the best sellers list. Giselle. Coming in at number 10 this week, hospital waiting rooms. Who will ever think to say that they'll miss hospital waiting rooms? But during this whole crisis, I had a friend who fell in, fell in a bathtub and she had to go to the hospital by herself. Her child couldn't go under her mom. None of us could visit her. We had to stay outside of Methodist North to make sure she was okay with an occasional text, text message. That was really strange and really weird. And it made me realize how important hospital waiting rooms are. And just having your loved one nearby just to make sure you're okay, to hold your hand and keep you encouraged. So coming in at number 10, hospital waiting rooms. Back with number nine, the 2020 election coverage. We know every four years in this country, we're gonna go through a political process and elect our president. And I miss the days of the mudslinging and the, the lies and the propaganda to just seeing a whole bunch of campaign commercials. And in January and February, that's what we were seeing. But now, a lot of people don't even know that Joe Biden has the Democratic nomination and that he'll be going against Donald Trump this November. There might be a third party candidate and all that kind of stuff. So I hope by November we'll be back to just paying attention to this election process and get back to life as normal. Giselle. Okay, back with number eight. Um, waking up early, early in the morning to go to the gym feeling dog tired. I used to dread that feeling of waking up at 4.30, being on the road by 5 a.m., walking up to my gym at 5.30, looking at the cardio equipment before I hit the weights. And I used to just hate it and just begrudge it and just, ugh. But now, 
I would love to have that feel on a routine basis. Now that gyms have a soft opening, you have a 45 minute workout, I'm getting that taste and that feel back, but I miss those early, early mornings. Okay, coming in number seven this week, I'm just walking straight into the Sam's Club, um, or a lot of these establishments, but Sam's Club in particular. I pay $100 a year to be a member there. I should be able to just walk in. I shouldn't have limits on what I can buy. But I understand during these tough times, they got to put limits and regulations on things. And we just got to do what we got to do. But you got to stand in line. They only can have a certain amount of capacity in the building at one time. And we're learning as we go on the fly. So now you got to be patient before you get there, while you shop. And you even have to be patient on the line leaving out of Sam's Club. But I just miss those days where I could just walk into Sam's Club and buy what I want. Okay, at number six, we're still out here in beautiful Arlington and we're starting to see some of the nail salons and places open back up. So number six, barbershop chats. I don't go to a nail salon, I don't go to a beauty salon, but I will hit up the barbershop from time to time. And I miss just those chats that we'll have a debate on this and that. And if sports was going on, we'll have to be talking about the latest. Right now we've been talking about the NBA playoffs, the NFL draft and things like that. And then of course we talk man talk while we're there. But we don't have that right now, so we have to do it virtually through a Zoom or just an old-fashioned way on the phone, but I miss those days of the old barbershop chat. Now, I'm about to have a chat with my good friend, Coach Neal, well, Principal Mark Neal of Millington Central High School, who normally around this time would have been getting ready for a graduation, spring fling and sports, and a whole bunch of other things, but in our current predicament, he's not doing those things. He's doing other things on the fly, and they're getting ready to have a graduation in Millington on May 29th. So we're gonna go talk to him and see some of the things he missed and how's his last couple months been going. I'm Thomas Seller Jr. and we're here with the midway point of my countdown. Best sellers list of the top 10 things I didn't realize I was going to miss. And one of the people I miss right about now is Mr. Mark Neal. I call him Coach Neal, principal uh, uh, here at Melody. Coach Central. worked, yeah. Yes, yes sir. Once a coach, always a coach. Always. And um, man, I miss just, you know, this time of year I would have seen you about 50 times, you know, during a normal graduation season. But with this pandemic, things have changed. How have things changed for your April May? Yeah, uh, so you know, April and May, things really get fun and exciting for seniors as we are uh, gearing up just for graduation, end of the year, close out, prom, yes. uh, senior week, where we plan a lot of things. Uh, so those are all things that we're missing. Unfortunately, uh, this year we, we have made some arrangements to have as close to a formal graduation as possible, because yes, yes, uh, we, we, we really feel like we owe that to our students. And, and in, at the same time, we would stand compliant with uh, state regulations uh, by reducing the crowd and requiring six feet of social distancing, facial masks, et cetera. Uh, but unfortunately, we are missing out on this, a fun week of senior activities that we had planned, uh, including a picnic at Canale Farms, um, at prom. Yeah. Unfortunately, we were not able to have prom. And, and that is one of the most exciting days yeah, so uh, the prom is when you is an opportunity to see the students uh, at their at their best, right? They they are the dressed, yeah. uh, they are dressed to impress. Uh, they have these huge makeovers, and I, and as I as I greet them at the door at prom, a lot of times I have to say, "Tell me your name," right? Because they, they, they they're glamorous, yeah, yes, yes. And, and, and just so they're so well behaved, which they behave well behaved every day, but something about the prom, just seeing the camaraderie, seeing the fun, the energy. It's like that song, they living their best life. Oh God, <laughs> that little Duval, right? Living their best life. Uh, so that's one event that I really hate that we are missing. Uh, but I do I do want to say to the senior class that, man, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for uh, welcoming me back in my first year um, after a five year uh, stint away. Uh, they, they walk with me, you know, at the beginning, they're like, who is this guy? I don't really know him. I may have heard of him. Uh, but they have been a wonderful class. So 2020, uh, class of 2020, I wish you the best. I wish you the best in all your in endeavors. And um, you're going to go down in history. Uh, they'll, they'll be writing and talking about this 30, 50, 100 years from now. Uh, and, and the way that you have uh, faced it head on, uh, the adjustments you've made on the fly, mm -hmm. just goes to show that you're going to be, you're more than prepared for life, uh, life after high school, so best of luck. Well, Mr. I know you're, they're babies, you care about them, and right before this hit, you know, you talked about five years away, you had Merrill's high school, 
you had to make a trip to support your old team in basketball at Merrill because they wanted you there. Yeah. And the kids here have reconnected with you. Talk about, you know, y'all job ain't easy as administrators. How you build that bond and give it that time? Because I know you wish you could go watch your kids up in Murfreesboro yeah. next week, but it's not going to happen. So talk about just building that kind of bond with your kids. Yeah, that is uh, that is one of the things that is the most rewarding part of, of this job. Uh, I, I believe that keeps me young in spirit. Yes, uh, a lot of gray hairs now on Facebook. Right there, right there with you. <laughs> but I, it, it keeps me young in spirit. It also allows me an opportunity to just uh, share share some of my my, my testimony with students. Um, you know, and just talking about the things I've been able to accomplish just with hard work and uh, in education. Right, and whether that education is a trade school, uh, a industry certification four-year degree, whatever the case may be, uh, you need a formal education to be able to unlock doors. And uh, that's my biggest message to students all the time is in building that relationship with them. And again, I'm an old coach, uh, so I think building bonds and relationships is, is critical for any teacher to be successful. And even though I'm sitting in the principal seat, uh, I'm still a teacher, so, and that's what I do. Not bad for a board from Tipton County, so we got to get Tipton County some more as well. <laughs> but lastly, yeah, yeah. Um, you did for mention how y'all going to try to do something special right across the road for the seniors on May 29th. Kind of break that down, because yeah. by the time they see this, they you know you send a message, a heartfelt message out to them. Let them know, you know about what's coming yeah. up, which y'all got planned for. Uh, so we are going to have formal graduation on May 29th. Uh, unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we're going to have to put some procedures in place to limit the crowd, uh, to uh, ensure that we are social distancing. Uh, so with that being said, we, we broke our, we divided our graduation class in half. Uh, so we have students last name, um, I want to say A through K, if I'm not mistaken yeah. off the top of my head. Yeah. Uh, they're going to have a, a five o'clock ceremony, and it's going to be a full ceremony uh, where, with some social distancing. Four tickets per student and everything. Four tickets per student. Uh, all attendees, we're asking that uh, you wear facial mask, and we're going to have some of those to provide for those who don't have them. Uh, there's going to be hand sanitizer stations there. Uh, there's going to be marked areas in the bleachers, uh, areas that, in, that, that uh, ensure that we are having the distance that we need between. And this man right here and the superintendent out there pressure washing, make sure they're clean for y'all. So he knows yes, all. Yeah, that stadium it looks good. We are we're detailing, cleaning it to make sure that we are ready to go for uh, Friday, May 29th. Last names A through K at 5 p.m. And then last names L through Z, uh, 7 15 p.m. So we have two ceremonies. Uh, we are asking everyone. Unfortunately, we will not be able to gather afterwards and congregate in the parking lots. We're going to really have to help push people in and out. Uh, but once you leave, uh, go, go to your homes, have your celebrations. Uh, just want, unfortunately, can't do it here in public. Okay. We well, appreciate that, Miss Neville. Appreciate the hard work that we see, but especially the hard work behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, this ain't your typical graduation season, but you have stepped up. I uh, know I've seen the Facebook posts and everything like that. So I've been trying to give you some social distance so you can do all that work. But I appreciate you taking a moment today as you make sure your seniors get all the stuff they need for the 29th yeah. and taking the time with the Millington stuff. We appreciate it. And before we end, man, I have to just say thank you to the team. Uh, you know, again, sometimes my face is seen, but I tell you, I couldn't do this work without team of admin, team of counselors, team of teachers, central office support from the superintendent down. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm one person, but I'm telling you, I have a, an entire team that's doing this work. You might have to do a top ten list one day. Yes, sir. I'll give you the, I give the platform. Thank you, man. Once again, I want to thank Mr. Neal for the time and talking to us, especially on the day where he's getting his seniors situated and taken care of. He made a little time for the Millington to start in the best sellers list. We always appreciate you, Coach Neal. And we're going to go back into our countdown with number five. And that number five this week, Goofy Commercials. Um, I understand it's the predicament that we're in, the situation that we're in. There are a lot of commercials that are recognizing our frontline personnel, um, making people realize that we're here for you on car payments, house payments, and things like that. And we definitely need that help right about now, but every once in a while we need to be cheered up. And those commercials that used to come on with the goofy mascots, um, Flow for Progressive, and all that kind of stuff, I miss those. I hope we can get back to the days where we can just laugh at a commercial and have 30 seconds just let our mind go away and not be focused on such serious issues. So number five, I miss goofy commercials. Okay, coming in at number four. I'm gonna see if you can guess what my number four is. I'm gonna scroll on my phone and just read off a list to you real quick. Oh, 
the Masters, Kentucky Derby, NCAA basketball tournament, NBA playoffs, the NHL playoffs, Major League Baseball Open, Frozen Four, NFL Draft, college baseball postseason, TWSAA Spring Fling. If you haven't figured out by now, I miss sports on TV. I'm tired of watching old sports. I know what happened. I ain't forgot. I even wrote about some of the stuff. I hate reliving history. We need to see some new history. Now, the debate is if we're going to be in empty arenas and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't care. I just need sports back on TV. I need something to help me breathe a lot easier. And sports does that. So I'm praying to the good Lord above and the, and the sports gods in the sky that we get sports back soon. That's my number four. Come here, 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 come here. Okay, okay. And number three, if you had to figure out hugs, we can't hug each other no more. It's kind of funny going to church and elbow bumping people and stuff like that. I'm a hug. I like to show people I care about. And right now we can't do that. I hope we get back to a day where we just hug each other and show each other that love and appreciation. Even maybe get back to giving a kiss on the cheek. But right now we need to stay safe and stay mindful of this, this pandemic out there. So we can't hug, but number three, I miss hugs. Okay, number two, I miss TMZ exposing celebrities. Okay, I know you're kind of confused right now. If you notice a trend, since celebrities are stuck at home in their beautiful mansions, they're, they're going to their computers and phones and broadcasting their lives almost 24 seven, so we can see, and they are getting on my nerves. I miss when TMZ had to do the exposing of them to show us how they were living. Now they want to sing songs and keep us encouraged and tell us everything's going to be okay. Then show us their goofy little tricks with their children and pets and all that kind of stuff. I wish I was that rich so I could be that bored and have that kind of fun. Uh, so this is jealousy. But, but I do miss the days where Harvey and his crew had to expose these people with, with videos and the paparazzi and sneak up on them. Ooh, when we get back to that, I know we're in a better place and a better world. That's my number two. So you order our Taco Bell on your phone. And now we just all we gotta do is just pick it up. Pretty much. So this device right here, my phone, I can download the app. And I can access Taco Bell. Do it convenient hours anytime I want. Practically, yeah. That's some 2020 stuff right there, man. You need things like Cash App and, and, and food apps. You can do anything you want. You can actually make it order inside without going to the counter. I like going inside. And that's the most important part. You still can go inside but they have a menu store. You can just order from there. Then you can pick up and you get go to the counter. Okay, now one last thing, one last thing. Can I download a gym app to have it do my workouts? For you? Yes. You ask me. Coming in at number one this week, Taco Bell. Going inside to make an order. That's what I miss the most. I, everybody that knows me knows Taco Bell Tuesday. And a tradition of mine is to every break I get at work, every Tuesday, I'm gonna come up to Taco Bell, walk inside, meet with the staff, make some jokes, laugh, have a good time, and make my precious order of Taco Bell. Anybody been on my Facebook page know how much I love Taco Bell. And it kind of breaks my heart not be able to go in on a Tuesday and see the people and see my food be made and just enjoy that tradition. So that's my clear number one of the things I miss the most during this era of COVID-19 is going inside Taco Bell to make my order.